What's up, everybody? Welcome to a new English bit. I'm Katia, and in today's lesson, we're going to expand and enrich your vocabulary by learning 10 body idioms. Are you ready? So grab your notebook and let's kick off. So the first body idiom that we're going to learn today is to wrap or to get your head or your mind around something. It means to succeed in understanding something difficult, challenging or confusing. An example sentence, it can be challenging to wrap your mind around your tax return. It can be challenging to wrap your mind around your tax return which means that it can be challenging to do your tax return on your own. And another meaning of this idiom is to accept something that you don't want to accept. It can be something unpleasant, tough or difficult. For example, it took him some time to wrap his head around his dismissal. It took him some time to wrap his head around his dismissal. And the last example here, I can't wrap my mind around his betrayal. I can't wrap my mind around his betrayal. Let's move on to our second idiom, which is British, and it's to face the music. To face the music. What do you think it means? This body idiom means to accept the negative consequences of your actions, to receive punishment and deal with criticism. And now let's look at three examples. The first one, sooner or later, you'll have to face the music. Sooner or later, you'll have to face the music. The second example, he broke the rules and had to face the music by paying a hefty fine. He broke the rules and had to face the music by paying a hefty fine. And the last example here, the politician had to face the music when the scandal broke. The politician had to face the music when the scandal broke. And now we're going to learn two C2 idioms. Number three, to keep your eyes Peeled. To keep your eyes peeled. It means to watch carefully for someone or something. And now three examples. The first one, please keep your eyes peeled for my suitcase while I'm gone. Please keep your eyes peeled for my suitcase while I'm gone. The second example, please keep your eyes peeled for the kids at the swimming pool. Please keep your eyes peeled for the kids at the swimming pool. And the last example, the guide told us to keep our eyes peeled for bears when hiking in Canada. The guide told us to keep our eyes peeled for bears when hiking in Canada. Let's move on to our idiom number four, which is C2 and it's to grind your teeth. To grind your teeth. Grind is an irregular verb and it's to grind, ground, ground. To grind, ground, ground. And it has two meanings. One meaning is literal and it means to press and wrap your teeth together. An example sentence, a lot of people grind their teeth in their sleep. A lot of people grind their teeth in their sleep. And the second figurative meaning is to show determination in a difficult situation and continue in spite of obstacles and difficulties. The first example, I ground my teeth and continued running in spite of pain in my leg. I ground my teeth and continued running in spite of pain in my leg. 
The second example, I know you're going through a lot these days. Just grind your teeth and hang in there. I know you're going through a lot these days. Just grind your teeth and hang in there. And the last example, she was angry, but she made an effort to grind her teeth and pretend she was okay. She was angry, but she made an effort to grind her teeth and pretend she was okay. Let's continue. Number five, to have a sweet tooth. To have a sweet tooth. This idiom means that you like eating sweets and chocolate. For example, I have a sweet tooth. I have a sweet tooth. And you? The second example, Thai doesn't have a sweet tooth, so it's better a savory snack for him. Thai doesn't have a sweet tooth, so it's better a savory snack for him. And the last example, my mom and my yoga teacher have a sweet tooth. My mom and my yoga teacher have a sweet tooth. Let's continue our idiom number six is to shoulder the burden or responsibility. To shoulder the burden or responsibility. It means to accept that you are responsible for something bad or difficult. And now let's look at three examples. The first one, in many countries, women have to shoulder the burden for raising children and full-time work. In many countries, women have to shoulder the burden for raising children and full-time work. The second example, he had to shoulder the responsibility for failing to meet the deadline. He had to shoulder the responsibility for failing to meet the deadline. And the last example, it's your job to shoulder the burden of having to deal with complaints. It's your job to shoulder the burden of having to deal with complaints. Let's continue. Number seven, we have one more C2 idiom. This time it's British and it's to get your own back on somebody. To get your own back on somebody. It means to do something bad to somebody who has harmed you. It's a synonym of to take revenge or a phrasal verb to get back at somebody. And now three examples. The first one, she got her own back on him by ruining his expensive clothes. She got her own back on him by ruining his expensive clothes. The second example, Tina decided not to get her own back on him and eventually forgave her colleague. Tina decided not to get her own back on him and eventually forgave her colleague. And the last example, it's not worth getting your own back on him. Let it go. It's not worth getting your own back on him. Let it go. Let's continue. Number eight, to pull somebody's leg. To pull somebody's leg. It means to tell somebody something that is not true as a joke. And now, a few examples. The first one, are you pulling my leg? Are you pulling my leg? The second example, stop pulling my leg. There is no way you hit the jackpot. Stop pulling my leg. There is no way you hit the jackpot. And the last example, relax, I'm just pulling your leg. The flight hasn't been cancelled. Relax, I'm just pulling your leg. The flight hasn't been cancelled. Second to last idiom, to think on your feet. To think on your feet. This idiom means to react to things very quickly and to make decisions in times of stress and do something without any preparation. And now let's look at three examples. The first one, if you are asked a tough question at the presentation, 
you'll have to think on your feet. If you're asked a tough question at the presentation, you'll have to think on your feet. The second example, Tom likes to have everything under control. So thinking on his feet is not his strong suit. Tom likes to have everything under control. So thinking on his feet is not his strong suit. And the last example, being a politician means thinking on your feet. Being a politician means thinking on your feet. And last but not least, the idiom to toe the line. To toe the line. It means to do what you are ordered or expected to do. And now three examples. The first one, she had to toe the line in order to keep her job. She had to toe the line in order to keep her job. The second example, he refused to toe the line. As a result, he was fired. He refused to toe the line. As a result, he was fired. And the last example, some employees refused to toe the line when some changes were introduced. Some employees refused to toe the line when some changes were introduced. So guys, that's it for today's lesson. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. Let me know if there were any new idioms to you in the comments below. And if you want to learn more body idioms, check out the first editions right here. And don't forget to like this lesson, to hit the subscribe button and do my daily quiz on Instagram. With that being said, thanks for watching and see you next week. Ciao for now!